Hello everyone, welcome to an analytical addendum where I respond and add more content to a previous video I made. Today is Setsuna Yuki's birthday, so what better way than to review that video I made for her last year. First off, happy birthday Setsuna-chan. May your wishes come true today on your birthday. Next, this video will be adding new information in small chunks of how it aligns or disproves the theory that Setsuna is an otoko no musume or transgender. Other popular theories will appear slightly and then I will respond to some comments from that video as well a year after they were posted. I make myself out to be an excellent YouTuber, don't I? Anywho, let's begin with the comics that support the transgender theory. I will post them in chronological order. Also, something I did not mention in the previous video, but I did put in the description, is that the comics were translated by Gamba Raman and typesetted by Belfagor Jin. Their hard work makes it easier to communicate the content. Their tumblers are in the description below. However, they have only done up to chapter 50 so far. Chapters 51 and after will be translations by me, so do not blame them for any mistakes I make. Now, let's begin with chapter 24. During this chapter, Cardin asks Setsuna if she wants help on studying for health and that she could teach her certain things that are not found in the textbook. Setsuna gets flustered at this comment, obviously. As it involves health class, a subject Setsuna dislikes, it makes sense as to why she would get flustered. It could be related to Setsuna being transgender and her body, or it could be about Cardin being a huge tease like she usually is where she enjoys studying one's body you know, in a sexual manner. In chapters 41 and 42, Cardin catches Setsuna watching anime and it is during a particularly etchy scene. Setsuna gets embarrassed after Cardin jokes that Setsuna is interested in that type of stuff and acts like she isn't interested in seeing it after all. The line Gamburaman uses, however, is, I love this show after all, yet the Japanese line more closely translates to as, I love it after all, referring to Setsuna's love of anime. Anyway, since she was watching an anime and is indeed an avid otaku, Setsuna must have known what series she was watching. Series fall into different genres, and if it was an ecchi series like Turabu or Yuragiso no Yunasan, she must have known what she was getting herself into. We don't know what Setsuna was watching exactly, but this could lead credence to Setsuna having a male libido where she was born biologically male. Briefly, in chapter 44, Setsuna's cooking is shown. It aligns with her ability to not cook well, as she mentions in the interview. However, that's all it proves. After the discussion of magical girls pops up from Setsuna in chapter 51, the Dengekin girls do hero poses and roll calls in chapter 52. Setsuna says, a hero for boys as well, Nijigasaki Red. I find it interesting that she mentions being a hero for boys as the Dengeki girls are doing chants as magical girls. Usually, magical girl shows always reference to them helping both boys and girls, not just girls alone. It could be referring to Setsuna being a role model as a magical girl for boys as well, but it seems unlikely. She probably is mentioning this to hint that boys can be magical girls too and aligns with the transgender theory this way. During chapter 68, Setsuna expresses her interest in Shizuku and her acting abilities. Cardin asks Setsuna what type of acting she likes and becomes flustered. Although the viewer doesn't know the reason for Setsuna being embarrassed, it could hint at the fact that she is possibly cross-dressing. While it isn't exactly aligned with the transgender theory, cross-dressing is considered a form of acting, especially in plays like Kabuki or ones from Shakespeare. In chapter 77, Setsuna comments on Karin's split pose. Karin says she can do a bunch of various poses and teases Setsuna with asking if she wants to learn them. Setsuna gets flustered again, and it takes a turn where Karin confesses her love for Setsuna, jokingly. The fact Setsuna is concerned over doing different stretches and poses exemplifies the possibility of doing the splits and revealing anything underneath. Although, since Karin teases Setsuna at the end, Poses could possibly be referencing sexual positions, and it is taken as a joke that way for mature audiences. In chapters 99 and 100, Setsuna finally comes clean about her identity, but before she can tell Cardin and Kasumi her secrets, 
They say they do not mind whatever it is because they're friends. Sadly, we do not get to know the secret exactly, but we do know she is hiding something. Since Karin and Kazumi accept Setsuna regardless, she does not need to tell him her secret because it is important to maintain their friendship. Finally, in chapter 101, Setsuna is reading shoujo manga and Karin is surprised she reads it. Something Japanese fans pointed out is Setsuna's interests are mostly male-dominated, such as with anime, video games, and idol gatherings. Karin could have noticed it and interpreted it as something else, maybe Setsuna being a tomboy. It doesn't exactly sustain the theory, but it does add more detail to Setsuna. Next, let's look at what appeared in the Dengeki comics that can disprove this theory. In chapter 27, Karin says Setsuna feels like a human girl after she supposedly groped her. I say supposedly because we do not see Karin grope anyone yet, and it may not be proof. Plus, if Setsuna isn't cross-dressing but has been on hormone replacement therapy, if she is indeed transgender, then she could have developed breasts like a human girl. Meanwhile, in chapter 45, Setsuna reveals her three sizes to Karin. The three sizes align to being female traits that characters possess, so could lead credence to Setsuna being biologically female. I will add more to this later on when I read a comment. Next, let's take a quick look at the other theories that people have proposed. One theory is Setsuna is already a popular idol. This explains why she doesn't appear at school much, but it seems Setsuna is quite active in school idol activities, which would seem weird if she is popular. She would have to have a busy schedule to maintain. There are two comics where Karin follows Setsuna, but most of it is on school grounds, except the last panel. Another theory is that Setsuna is a ghost. This mostly leads to people thinking she is a spirit within the group. While it would make for an interesting twist, the fact others can interact with her and others have touched her seem to clash with this idea. Another theory that is gaining steam is Setsuna is related to a popular idol. Although this doesn't relate to why she is not seen at school often, people say they recognize Setsuna from somewhere. It could be that Setsuna is a sibling of a popular idol, the most likely candidate being Anju Yuki from All Rise. The only detail that links them is their surname containing the same characters, but Yuki is a somewhat common surname in Japan. Their faces do not match up, but it's still possible they are related in some way, such as being cousins. Finally, let's take a look at the comments you guys left on my video from last year for Setsuna's birthday. First off is Len Frantora. They say, She's referring herself as an ultime, meaning she refers herself as ladylike, not the girl gender itself. Umi almost had the same height and three sizes. Her costume represents being an idol. Nice theory though. By the way, Setsuna Yuki is male if you look it up on Naruto Wiki. Thank you for your feedback, Lynn. I greatly appreciate it and I will definitely cherish it. I do want to touch upon a few things though. Your first comment mentions herself being an ultime, and I do agree that ultime can refer to someone being ladylike, especially if they're referring to themselves as an ultime. However, I rewatched the video and looked through my script, and I did not see any mention of ultime in there. I also double checked the images and the interviews I presented in the video, and I did not see ultime in there. I did use ladylike but not ultime. So I apologize if there is a misinterpretation somewhere in the video. I do want to apologize. Just the onus is on me. Do not feel bad if I did anything in the wrong. It's my job as a YouTuber and video editor to present the information correctly. As for Umi almost had the same height and three sizes, I do agree. When I was reviewing the video, something that appeared was several blogs trying to disprove this theory and the things that they mentioned were Nico and Ruby having the same height as Setsuna at 154 centimeters and then Hanyo, Hanamaru, and Kanon had the same three sizes or nearly the th three same sizes as Setsuna. So it does more push Setsuna towards being a biological female than biologically male as males tend to have larger and wider bone structures if anything. As for a costume represents being an idol, I definitely agree 100%. However, my main problem is that that is all she wears. 
We have seen her in other school idol outfits. However, at school, all she really wears is this school idol uniform. She does not wear her school uniform like the other Nijigasaki students. Even when the winter uniforms were revealed, Setsuna still wore her idol outfit. So that was my main concern and hopefully helps prove this theory because I do not see or have thought of any reason why she would be wearing her costume over a school uniform. I don't know why, but hopefully if it is proven wrong, we are shown why she does. Thank you for the comment once again. And here's proof that yes, Setsuna Yuki is male on the Naruto Wiki. Next comment is referring to something I tried to do through this video, as well as in previous videos. And I mentioned it in my Myself Yourself analysis. This comment is from Surfal and they say, thank you for the analysis, interesting theory. That being said, seriously, you almost need subtitles. Please try to modulate a little bit more and breathe. Took pauses when you talk, please. Thank you again. Thank you for your comment, Surfo. I did mention this in my Myself Yourself analysis video, and I do try to focus on slowing down my speech and trying to articulate myself. So hopefully in this video, I do come across clearer. I do greatly appreciate your feedback. So hopefully you have seen progress in this video and previous videos of mine. And thank you for your comment once again. These final few comments are just here to recognize that they have commented and just saying thank you for what they have posted. Ryono says, if this is true, it's really powerful and I love it. Thanks for the effort you put into making this video. Thank you, Ryono. I do agree that can be very powerful, especially if it does end up being true. I do have some concerns because the Japanese fans are sort of writing over this. If it is true that uh, Setsuna is indeed transgender or an otoko no musume, the Japanese fans have said some crude things, such as they will burn all merchandise of Setsuna if it is true, or that they do not want a male in their Yuri fantasy. That is a bit disheartening, and I do know Japan has been becoming more progressive on LGBT rights lately, but they're still far away from where we are in America and other countries. So hopefully they become more accepting in the future, but time will tell. Sherbet, Platy P P, or is it Platy Pie P? Platy Pie P? In all honesty, having a trans girl in a love live group would be absolutely amazing. Thank you for your comment, and I definitely agree 100%. As someone who is transgender herself, I enjoy having characters I can closely relate with, and hopefully it does end up being true. But even if it does not end up being true, Setsuna is still my best girl. Speaking of best girls, how do you like that transition? Tsukeki says, look at PDP characters. I think Setsuna is my best girl. Girl, yeah, thank you for the comment, Tsukeki. Interesting comments and definitely pokes fun at the theory. Um, who knows? We'll never know, possibly, if they want to keep it as an infinite mystery, but I definitely think they will reveal it in the future. Hopefully, everything goes well with it. And regardless, she's still the best girl. We can all agree with that. So, to end this video, let's wish. Setsuna Yuki a happy birthday once again. O tanjoubi omerito. Please look forward to my videos coming out in the future. Right now, a Saint Tail video is in production and I do have a Ruby Kurosawa video for her birthday in a month and a half. So please look forward to that as well. Thank you all for watching and have a lovely day. And once again, happy birthday Setsuna-chan. Yay. Bye-bye.